such as season seven of the popular Fox cooking show, MasterChef. And uh, honestly, if you want to cook for me, let me know, because he's looking to try and open up a restaurant. I'll come through, and then Wildcat has been around the scene forever. He's been playing games forever. You can check him out. We have a soundbite from both of these guys. Let's listen in to what these two competitors had to say. All right, guys, what message do you have for your opponents? Marksman and JT Brown need to stay on the far side of the map. Avoid us if they want to have a chance to go. The other teams are in trouble. Uh, most of the celebrities usually are pretty bad. I've seen a lot of these pro-ams. Unfortunately for them, I might have more hours playing Fortnite than most of the pros. I mean, I play all the time, but they're lucky I get handicapped. Uh, I usually play on an iPad. Today I have a controller or Xbox controller, but luckily I brought my Xbox with me. I've been in the hotel grinding. He's been exploring New York City. He just needs practice, but uh, I'm ready. All right, good luck, guys. Wow, wise words from them there. And also calling out their buddies a little bit, saying, hey, JT and Markson, don't come anywhere near us, but our next duo, we have Michael Dreyer and Mick. Mick being one of the original builders in the community, all about it, getting a little bit in there, all about the dance moves. Mick was the one who pioneered a lot of the initial meta, encouraged people and pumped positivity in the community. Very popular streamer. And then Michael Dreyer is the American actor, best known for his roles on Mr. Robot, Deception, and Sneaky Pete. In 2018, he ran the Honolulu Marathon, and he'll be running the New York City Marathon in 2019. Next up, we have Max Wax Motif, apologize for that, and Musil, the Australian players. The first one, Wax Motif, the Australian DJ and music producer. He, he has influences from R&B to disco to UK bass, so all over the place, really, for Wax Motif. Yes, of course. Musil K, the American YouTuber who's actually based in Sydney, in South Wales. He likes to keep his content humorous. I always think of him as the player who tried to knock somebody off a mountain with a shopping cart in the first pro end. He was not successful, just to let you know. But on to our next duo. Alexander is the Japanese Peruvian actor and model who has so many names that are amazing, but the last of which is Diablo. And then you have Vodka, the Japanese YouTube personality. The skill level, he says, is as good as some of the best pros around the world. He says sometimes he has a bad mouth, but it's gentle. It's okay, we'll help you fix up that filter here for the family-friendly audience, but they look excited to be here. And look at those shades on Alexander. Yeah, those are stylish. I wonder if you could see inside, though. We're gonna continue forward. The Japanese players, it's Ellie and Nemkukun. Ellie, who joined us in the last round, he's a Japanese dancer and performer for Jap Japan's number one boy band, Sandaime J Soul Brothers. Yes, and he also has a solo rap project where he goes by the name of Crazy Boy. So let's see if he can get crazy on him today. And then Nekukon is his partner, the Japanese Fortnite streamer, who is pumped to be here, excited to take it on. Let's hear what Ellie had to say before the competition. All right, Ellie, do you have any message for your opponents today? Uh, I'm from Tokyo. Watch out for Crazy Boy. Sayonara. Bang. Like we said, got to watch out for the crazy boy. He's on a mission, wants to make it happen. Now our next pair is Claire Grant and Jacob. Claire Grant is the American actress, model, and producer who co-founded Team Unicorn, which has made a web series and music video parodies, including Geeky Gamer Girls and All About That Bass. Fun fact, she says her burps have been known to rattle windows. Hey, we got that in common. And then Jacob is a YouTube personality all the way from Poland, here to play some Fortnite, tear up the stage, and he says he wants to win some money for charity, but he's also just looking to have a good time. And that he will have for sure. I Absolutely amazed by that. We're going to continue forward. It's Business Boy and Frizz. Frizz, another Polish streamer who, you know, he enjoys Fortnite. He and his, look at that pink hair. It's awesome. His girlfriend has some as well. So awesome duo there. We'll see if this duo, though, of Business Boy and Frizz can do anything on the stage. Business Boy, the music producer who has worked with artists like Lil Nas X, Party Next Door. He's extremely athletic, as you can tell. We'll see if he can do anything with that athleticism on the stage. 
Yes, and he has been called the basketball basketball Dre before. And now, just after them, we have Symphony and Vinny Pergola. Vinny Pergola being one half of the Phantoms duo who's competing today. He was also an actor turned DJs. You might recognize him from shows like Not So Raven, The Bernie Mac Show, and a Misbehave. Now, Symphony looking fantastic today. Definitely showered, got the gel in his hair. All about the stream, the content, and the fast edit. Originally known as the best editor in the West, he pioneered some of those quick resets and go making people look foolish. So did it through the entire time in the summer skirmish. And continue through Kyle Catlin from the Phantoms as well. And you heard Sundown say his brother was a teen actor. He was also a teen actor. He played on shows just like the Bernie Mac show, which we already talked about, and 10 Things I Hate About You. And they became the duo that you know them about. It's the Phantoms. Moving forward as well, his duo partner, Kay. We just saw him perform in the Creative World Cup. And he's a British YouTuber, Twitch streamer, org owner, all this sorts of stuff. He's also known for the meme, you know it. That's insane, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. But now our next duo, all the way from down under, trying to prove they're here for you. It will not be easy, but they're hoping that one day they will find peace on the Battle Royale Island. Alison Wonderland is the Australian electronic dance music producer. She is the best Just a genuine human being likes to stress that it's all about positive and positive being there for the other person. Loser group, a very popular Australian Still, they're gonna grace us with their presence. It's Desmond Chia and Mr. Fresh Asian. And we have a lot to say about Mr. Fresh Asian because he's somebody that participated in almost all the World Cup qualifiers and had just a fun time doing it and really plays highly in some of them, too. Yes, and he was screaming it the entire time. Got a chance to talk with Desmond last night. He's actor, writer, known for the Shannara Chronicles, Magic Hit, and NCIS Los Angeles. He also break dances under the alias B-Boy Desmond. And back in the day, he used to min-max on EverQuest. We talked about min-maxing earlier in min- Whoa, 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 Excuse me? Let's introduce your new champions at the end of the day. I am WWE Superstar Xavier Woods. And I am YouTube sensation Chris Danker, AKA Chris Danger, AKA Dank Ops. I have a YouTube channel called Up Up Down, and we're almost at 2 million subscribers. So I'd appreciate it if you're watching. Put subscribe right now, thank you very much. And a long time ago, I was on America's Got Talent, and I didn't win, and I'm so salty about it. Music for us. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. We, we don't need no music. I don't. I don't. I. You know what, Xavier? Thank you so much. It seems to now be a tradition. The first pro am. He walked in with CD and the third on his shoulders. The second one, he crowned himself king before the competition. And now he just hops on the line, grabs a microphone, and can put himself 
this dude, this belt, and also the disparity between those belts is moderately hilarious. It is hilarious. And for the next time, can we get them some music, please? Yeah, I was just about to say that definitely if we need the music, because if Xavier's gonna be up there, like I can't you can't see anything happening, but yeah, ooh, that was a lot going on. But enough of the interruption. We need to get into the last fifth of the players is Liam McIntyre and Lachlan. Lachlan, of course, being the Australian gamer known for bossing Fortnite and Minecraft related content on his self-titled channel, which has earned more than 12 million subscribers, has been around the scene from the beginning, played in the creative before this, and then Liam McIntyre, the Australian actor, playing the lead in two of the Spartacus series. He has also appeared in Legend of Hercules, The Flash, Gears of War 4, and Hulk, amongst many other roles. And fun fact, he's never tasted Coca-Cola, while you're not messing a whole lot there. D Ford, it's Ty Tom Banks, Joe Guy, and Detonator out of Brazil. By Tem Tom Ben Joga is the Brazilian YouTuber. Because he actually only played Battle Royale and he uh, he won his very first match. But uh, that wait, what is that beard? The, the, uh, you're looking at the beard, I'm looking what at the, the Brazilian national team, like almost Fighter Lord Detonator having none of it. They are I just uh, you know what? I just want to hear what Detonator has to say because that is incredible. All right, Detonator, what is some trash talk you have for your opponent? If you want my opponent, you'll be eliminated. You won't cross me. Don't do this. You'll be eliminated by the power of the heavy metal. Looking to eliminate everyone in his path. That was the complete opposite direction. I thought we were going with that. So let's get on to the next pair. Another Brazilian representative is Edukov in Blake's power. Edukov, a 28-year-old Brazilian YouTuber, recently moved to the U.S. Successful daily vlogs showing his day to day activity. He streams games like Fortnite and Minecraft. And the Flix Power content creator also came from the zone. Despite that, no more big competition has been around in the community. Moving on forward, it's Kalmora and Kalango. Kalango is a Brazilian YouTuber, so we're continuing on the Brazilians and Fortnite players, obviously, otherwise, he wouldn't be here. He's only been a pro Fortnite player for four months. Big Twitch 